Who is Truly's least favorite influencer that we've worked with? Um, probably... Welcome back to Chili YouTube. My name is Zara and today I'm giving you guys answers to your juiciest questions. So let's hop right into it. So all the questions I'm going to be answering are from our Instagram poll. So if you want to be part of our next Q&A, be sure to follow us on Instagram. It's at Truly Beauty. First up, we have what is your must-have product and what is your least favorite product from Truly? Okay, uh, first, on a positive note, best products ever, I would say, are going to be our butt serum and our boob serum. Absolutely obsessed with them. The smell, the results, everything are by far the best, best products. If you haven't checked those out, definitely do. Least favorite, let me think on that one. Tough, because I think, honestly, all of our products work for, like, every product could work for a different skin type. Biggest skincare insecurity is acne, so I focus a lot on dealing with my face breakouts that I absolutely am obsessed with, like obsessed, 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 besides the serums that I mentioned is hemp jelly uh, face mask. So a product that I don't use and I've never used and I probably will not use anytime soon, vegan collagen face mask and star face sleep mask to really stick to my hemp jelly. And yeah, I don't love those, but how many people do, uh, they're both really, really popular. So, and they target a lot of discoloration and aging really wonderful products not my jam next up we have whew, this is a, a juicy one who is truly's least favorite influencer that we've worked with um we definitely have one i would say personally for me it's probably Okay, so next question is, what is your guys' secret to blowing up on TikTok? Um, a number one tip I have across any platform of social media is going to be do what works for you. Try a bunch of different styles and then see which ones your audience is actually engaging with. Say we make like five videos and one video gets 10 million views and one video gets 10 views definitely <laughs> geared towards doing the 10 million video more and a big tip that i have always in just everything is to make sure your qual your content quality is high quality so that means like shooting in good lighting shooting on iphones actually really have great quality in my opinion a really clear iphone and good quality trumps everything i keep your videos short i always recommend when you're starting out to keep it definitely under 15 seconds probably between 10 to 15. so don't be shy to test a ton of different styles especially when you're starting out and when you have a big following there's literally limitless ways in my opinion to blow up on TikTok. Next question we have is, do you guys actually read your DMs? Yes, 10,000%. Read them and check them every single day. I'm always looking at them. I feel like probably the best way to like reach out to anyone like on our social platforms or like always on our phones, obviously. But for some reason, I feel like Instagram is just so much easier. So we always check Instagram DMs, that's the point. And we also always try to answer every single one of them in at least like 24 hours. So yeah. Always feel free to DM us with product questions or thoughts. I don't know, anything you want to say. What is a secret product that is coming out? Any secret products coming out this summer? Um, yes and yes, I will give you guys a little preview here of some products that we are launching. So many good ones. So, so, so excited. And a lot of these will be coming out this summer or maybe right after. Stay tuned. What is a product launch that you guys regret? Um, I don't have any specifically. A lot of them, sometimes you look back and you think we could have done it slightly differently. I personally don't think there's been one product that we've like regretted coming out with. I don't know, you guys told me. Is there a product that you guys didn't like? So another question that we get all the time, which I thought I would answer is, does the Aussie your boobies make your boobs grow? So no, literally not at all. It works to tighten the skin and that can lead to a lifting effect, which some people feel like their bras are more full and that their chest is more lifted, which creates an appearance of a bigger chest. It's not growing your actual boobs. Sorry to burst your bubble if that's what you thought. Okay, so the next question we have is what is it like really working for Truly? How long have you worked there? So I've worked here for probably I'm coming up on a year, not a year yet. What is it like? Um, It's awesome. Nothing bad to say about it. Yeah, I guess something cool about us is that we work in a house. We're a really, really small team. A lot of our content is filmed in-house. Uh, and it's not like your typical office, very creative. I have a ton of different rooms and areas that we film in. So I really like this room. This is like our pink room, absolutely love. You guys watch our lives. You have also seen our famous 
shelfie, which is so, so fun. We have all of our Truly products here. And then another question was that we received a lot of was how many people are on like Instagram and just your social medias in general, who runs what. Uh, so right now we only have three people on our team. So that is across all of our social platforms, which I will list down below. If you guys don't follow us at all, definitely <laughs> follow us. So we have Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group, TikTok, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, and YouTube, of course. And then we also have smaller accounts on a few other platforms. And someone asked, would you ever come out with bigger size polishes and butters? I definitely hope that we come out with bigger polishes. I love the polishes. I go through them very, very quickly. Our butters, I actually think are a good size. I feel like I can make mine last for a really long time. It all goes a long way. They're super thick and hydrating. I really like. So for now, no. <laughs> the next question we have is related to TikTok. So it's how do you guys come up with your TikTok ideas? Honestly, a lot of it is from you guys and from you guys reaching out to us and asking for product recommendations, just like tips and tricks on how to um, handle like a skincare concern that you might be having. That's where like a lot of our strawberry legs ones came from, of our butt acne ones, how to shave our butt, things like that are just things that we've dealt with like in-house or on our team we thought might apply to you guys and it obviously has. I think just being like really authentic and connecting with the community and helping content ideas based on feedback that we received from you guys has worked the best for us and that's really where we get most of our ideas. Someone asked, how do you guys deal with hate? I mean, I think we just try not to take it too personally. Obviously, constructive feedback is totally welcome and we love hearing what's working, what's not working. At the end of the day, uh, try to always, in anything in life, try to understand where the person's coming from. Okay, so question is a lot. Let me find it. You guys blocked by <laughs> one on your social channels. This one I think was talking about Instagram specifically. Yeah, I definitely think we are. That's okay. I can tell you who, but yes. There was a question that was, are you guys coming out with any other acne patches? I love your star acne patches, but I don't really want to wear weed leaves on my face. Um, I can't relate, but yes, we're coming out with a ton of new ones. I'll ask them on the screen that I think you'll love. Okay, guys, that is all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and... I got to answer some of your juicy questions. If you guys want to see another one in this video, comment, like, and tell me how much you liked it, and I'll be sure to make more. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.